Hi guys, I'm uploading some really long videos, so I don't know how long they're going to take. Um, I was playing with watercolor markers earlier, um, but on that walk to uh, the lake, look at this beautiful bird. There's a thumb spot to hold him. Beak. He's even got little carvings in there. They've got his feathers, like the little or something. And on this side too. It's another beautiful bird. And this one was in the ground next to this one. And I saw these marks. And all the grooves. And that's, this is the flat face. See? And it would have been, I don't know, maybe I don't know, there's this cut out right there. It's like a right angle cut, kind of. And then it like comes up. It reminds me of a leaf or something, but it has a little face too with this. Um, but when I was like washing it off, not washing it off, but um, brushing it off, all I could smell was tobacco. It was covered in tobacco, I don't know, the back side. It was all brown. Look, there's a little guy right in here too. So I don't know, this might have been a tool or maybe the shape of a tobacco leaf or something with tobacco where they would like crush it up with these ends because it's pretty like napped. And this little guy was right next to it. Oh. Looks like a quail, like a tiny little quail eye up here, the little thing on its head, little beak, like from Bambi, like the little quails that follow their mom. And then this is the same material, that white stuff. It's really flat, it has those napped edges. And it looks like a bird too. Beak, eye, right in here and then its head comes down it's with the feathers and then this little guy I was like hey that's like a piece of that flint shirt stuff and then I noticed it had this spot right and this little tiny beak and then I flipped it, put my finger in that little hole. And can you see it's open beak right here and it's waddle on top and it's a, it's, it's a buck, buck, buck. It's like a calling rooster maybe. Maybe it's a rooster. See his little beak? Come on with the focus.
has some paint on it. And I wanted to talk about, I've had this for a while. It has these rounded parts here at the bottom where it's not sharp, but the rest of it has really sharp edges. Shoot! And they look napped. Like, stop! And I saw the point and how it's triangular with the rounded part here for the binding, the groove, like, so, it, the, so this part wouldn't cut the binding. If it was wrapped where it's sharp, it'll cut the binding. And then it goes back to this point. Very sharp edges. Do you like it better like this, camera? Wow. Like, I feel like someone keeps tapping my screen. So yesterday, when I was uh, walking at the lake, I found this one. It has this triangular to the point. This part's flat. It's even a serrated point. It has these grooves in it. There's one right here. the rounded part so not to cut the binding goes back into a shape it even has like a little bird face here like fly like the wind birdie So, I, f I thought it was cool because they were so similar, like these two, and I found them years apart. I'm pretty sure I found, I, I, this one could have come from around Pedoc too, it very well could have. And then I found this huge bowl where the guy's eye would be, nose, mouth. like this huge bowl paint and then this one found too and it's blue flint or whatever that is it's it it's like navy blue and it goes translucent in there and then there's um some of the matrix whatever it is here see it's like someone taps my screen
I bet there's EVPs during some of these when I'm recording in here. Look at all that. The face over here and the nose. The eye. Right where it's super sharp. <clears throat> so yeah, I just wanted to show some of the little birdies that I found. This is a ram, I think. This is flat. His head and he's all bushy and his horn comes down like that. Like the ones that line the Egyptian place where there's all those rams. Has some of the white stuff. I just found this one, so I can't quite figure it out, but look at that. It's like a ram hat or something the guy's wearing. I've been finding stones that look like they have a giraffe on them. Like this, or maybe that's a llama? Anyway, I was fooling around with watercolor markers. I thought they were, that was nice. Um, there's more I wanted to talk about, but this one also I think could be tortoise shell. Because this is the translucent part of on top of the bone again, like I said the other one was. You can see it's like a layer. And it comes around. And then it has these cores that are all sparkly, like they were used for beading to sharpen a, a beading tool. like to sharpen their needle. But yeah, on top, this stuff feels really cool. It all can go um, light up with the flashlight and it has the, the patterns just barely starting. I'll show. Have a great day.